Okay, guys, as you can see, I just got my Last Chance Archery Easy Green Bow Press. Um, I've already set it up and everything, but today I'm going to do a video about how to set it up, tips and tricks whenever you start pressing your bow, um, anything else that comes along the way. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, so as you can see, I have already adjusted for my bow and put on the four fingers. Um, you'll also get an additional finger um, is for if you have if you have a draw stop on your bow, this finger, and you'd put it wherever um, to accommodate for that draw stop. And I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, guys. So as you can see, I have my dad's Matthews Vertex here. And you would use that peg because uh, right here, this draw stop right here is hitting the finger before this is getting to it. So you would use that peg for your Matthews um, or any other bow that has that stop. Um, so that's very useful. <coughs> On this bow press, you have a crank. You can get a wheel for it. Um, this accommodates for pretty much anybody you can think of. Um, this is your measuring tape. It goes all the way down to 25. And it goes all the way up to, I don't know, because I haven't cranked it up. It'll take me a while. Um, I also want to say that whenever you get the press, you do not, not want to take this metal piece out. I already tried it because I didn't know. And you'll not be able to adjust your fingers with this off. So you want to make sure that that Allen wrench down there is snug. Let me put these on. And you'll have to kind of push these down to get these fingers on. <clears throat> um... And you can slide these fingers in and out, and you use this little crank here, and they go um, back and forth. So that's how you adjust for that. Um, this one I just mounted on the desk. Um, it comes with all the bolts you need. Um, it's very easy to mount, not heavy at all. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And now I'm going to show you guys me pressing a bow. Okay guys, as you can see, this is my Bear Cruiser. Um, so you can see that I've adjusted it to where it fits good right there. And good back here with the finger on the thumb, as well as here and here. Um, and so that just makes sure that you get even pressure on all limbs, um, so you get a good press. <clears throat> now when you start to press, you're obviously going to crank this um, in. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold this string up while you press. I can't do this while I hold my phone, so I'm going to set this up and show you guys. Okay guys, so I'm going to put pressure up on this, and I'm going to crank. As I crank, you can see it's compressing the, the bow, the bow is pressing, and then whenever you're done, there you go. And now you can work on your strings and cables. Um, I'll take you can go over here. As you can see, if I needed to, I could work on my cables right here. Let me just loosen them up, take these off. As you can see, and then put them back on, put a twist in them, and your yokes, do whatever you need to. Um, whenever you are finished, make sure that all your strings and cables are still on their tracks. So, um, I'll show you how to do that in this next clip. Okay, so what I like to do is I'll hold the string up again, and I'll just follow this track right here all the way around i'll make sure it's connected here i'll make sure the strings and cables are connected on both sides sorry for my dog barking obviously it's going to be in the, the slide on this side as you can see it's a little out so i would just follow it back here make sure it's all good there um and then you have you know both the yokes on here if you do have yokes um and so that's all good and then i just hold this up and start pressing again and i'll show you guys that Okay, I'm just going to hold this up, and I'm going to start pressing it in. And as you can see, my bow is now loose, and I have a press, and ready to go. <coughs> um, just make sure you're really safe with this equipment, obviously. If you use it you know, wrong, it can, you can result in injury. Always re read the warnings in the package that comes with it. I have those. Um, I'll go grab those in a second and show you. You will receive those when you get your um, last chance press though. They have obviously a bunch of other assort uh, assortments of presses um, for a home sh you know, shop, I guess you could call it, like me. I'm not, I'm pressing one or two bows. Yeah, I, these are the only two bows that I'll be pressing my dad's and my bow. <clears throat> and I mean, easy to adjust the fingers. Everything's very nice on this. Um, 
you will need to t um, really make sure these screws are nice and um, snug whenever you bolt them down because um, it will wobble and I mean it's not a big deal if it wobbles a little bit but uh, you kind of want it to be set in there. Um, so yeah that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you have a good day. Bye.